behind the scenes, y'all, we finna shoot the review of this Glock clone that I built by Zafiri Precision. I'm excited. I'm hyped. I can't wait to see if this boy worked. Because I don't know if it worked. The reason I did this build was for a number of reasons. One, I want to make sure that I understand how a pistol works inside and out. Being as I am a manufacturer, um, one day I might really want to get into pistols. I like the aftermarket uh, for Glocks. And so if I was to ever get into that lane, I got to understand how they work, um, how to take them apart, how to put them together. Um, and so I also want to see What's the market doing? Uh, in addition to that, I have always wanted to build my own Glock clone. Um, I think the clones could be great, especially when you start adding in slide cuts and stuff. And then I want to know how that feels too, like taking some of that weight off the slide. What does that do for recoil? Like, what does that do? I see what it does for aesthetics because this gun looks sexy, if you don't already know. Putting it together was a beast. I wish I could show y'all, but if I did, YouTube would instantly demonetize the video. They still may demonetize this video. I hope they don't. But whatever the case, one, I want to give Zafiri Precision some love because this is an excellent build kit. Um, I got the build bundle. It all came through um, to be exactly how we needed it to be. And so we just got to get through that 200, 300 round break-in period. It's RMR cut, the slide came cut already. Uh, you can't beat it. I don't know if every RMR footprint will mount directly to the slide. Those are things that we're gonna check in another video. Technically, that's modifying the gun and YouTube will demonetize it. But this gun is not modified, YouTube. This is exactly how it came. It just came in pieces and I put them all together. Um, should you get one of these? We'll see after this break-in period, because this to me is a viable option, even to if it runs flawlessly, comparable to the Glock 19. Um, would I choose this over my Glock 19 right now? No, because we've had too many failures to feed already. But after the break-in period, if it shows reliable, eh, might be talking about something. <laughs> So, some things I like about the gun already. I absolutely love the grip. It uses the Shadow Systems 918 frame. Uh, got the flared magwell on there. It's definitely uh, nicer to hold on to than a standard Glock frame. I especially like it because I put the big grip on the back. I'm not one to change my back straps, believe it or not. I'm the type of guy that really shoots my guns how they come. But... Putting that bigger back strap on there is extremely nice. I especially like the undercuts. Um, it's a lot better. You don't get that same Glock knuckle that you would get with a standard Glock 19. Um, the frame has got texturing not only on the grip, but here right below my slide, as well as on the front of my trigger guard. I am not one to put my finger on the front of the trigger guard. Not a huge fan of that. However, the fact that it's there is nice for the people who shoot like that. Uh, all in all, as of right now, man, I, I definitely would give this gun about a good 8 out of 10. But I got to keep trying to get through this break-in period because this failure to feed, um, if you know me, you know I got short patience and it's getting on my nerves. But they did warn me that you got to run a couple hundred rounds through this gun to break it in. So that's what we're going to do. Before I ever would imagine selling these, I gotta see if it's worth it, all right? So, we're gonna do some more shooting and check it out. In conclusion, 
I'm feeling this. All right, we ended up putting a total of almost 400 rounds through it. Uh, and now it's running flawlessly. I, I done ran through about a good five, six magazines with no malfunctions. Even on the first, we were getting those failures to feed. Not anymore. Now, before I would consider ever carrying this gun, I would have to give it a thousand round test. So we would have to come out here, put a thousand rounds through it and make sure that it can handle that. Um, but that's next on the list. So I'm going to get a, a red dot here. Make sure y'all drop in the comments below. What should I throw on here? Should I do a Trigicon RMR Type 2? Do a Hollow Sun? Or should we try like a budget optic? I know a lot of people have been asking me to do budget optic reviews. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, it might be coming soon to RosticArms.com. I'm just saying. So uh, anyways, I'll catch y'all next video. Peace.